So, you guys have been asking a lot about what kind of gear I use, what kind of camera I use, etc. And I figured it was time just to put it out there. So this will be the April 2016 camera gear vlog. I know it's almost May, it's still April. So the camera that I shoot on is a Canon 70D. I actually just got this over winter break, so everything before that was shot on a Canon T2i. Now, I chose a 70D for a lot of reasons. I won't really go into them, but essentially, uh, it has autofocus, so it's easier for me, you know, I can move in and out, my face is still in focus, and also it's just kind of a better camera and more uh, user-friendly than the T2i is. So I'm really happy with my choice of the 70D. I'm gonna keep this camera for a while, I think. I just need to get some different lenses for it. Speaking of lenses, the lenses that I use with this camera, the one on here right now is an 18 to 55, so it goes way in so you can zoom in on my face. It's an 18 to 55. Um, it has the silent autofocus, so you can see as I zoom in and out, it's still focused. And uh, that's awesome. The silent autofocus is a great feature. The second lens that I used was actually recommended by my friend Evan Shanks. This is a Canon, uh, again, silent autofocus. It's a, it's a Canon 10 to 18 EFS. This lens is awesome, but it is awful in low light. It's an f of four, I believe. This is my go-to lens for those glamour shots with the depth of field and stuff like that. This is what they call the Nifty 50. It's a 50 millimeter, come on, there we go. It's a 50 millimeter Canon lens with an f of 1.8. So that gives you a really nice step of field. This lens is also great at night because of how low of an f-stop it has, but because it's a 50, it's actually zoomed in quite a bit, so it would be like, it would be like filming here, so I really have to back up in order to make that happen. The final lens that I really don't use is this Canon 75-300. It is a huge lens. Um, I really, the only thing that I ever use it for is non-car stuff, so that, that's not super relevant to car videos. The tripod I use is a Magnus VT300. I talked about that in my how to make a great car video video, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and click on this little annotation up here at the end of the video. I also shoot on a GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 3. Ooh, this is the GoPro washed out. GoPro Hero 3, there we go. Um, I don't have the Hero 3 Plus, I don't have the Hero 4, mainly because this is what I have, that, 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 that's really the only reason. Um, I don't shoot any of my videos in 4K, the 70D doesn't support that, so this does 1080 at 60 frames per second and that is good enough for me. When I'm shooting with the GoPro, and especially when I'm making vlogs of me moving around, I'll have the GoPro on this thing here, hang on, get it set up. So this is a Fiotech G3 gimbal, what it does is if you turn it on, it stabilizes the GoPro, so I can go side to side, up and down, go like all that, and it stays pretty smooth. This is really nice. A lot of the times you'll see me combine this with my rollerblades to get those nice rolling moving shots at speeds that if I was running it would be all bumpy. But because I'm on rollerblades, I can maintain that speed and glide and get the nice smooth shots. So this plus rollerblades is a really cool combination. I'm actually looking into getting a gimbal for my DSLR or maybe just getting a DJI Osmo. If you have experience with either DSLR gimbals or Osmos, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna shut this off. Um, now you guys ask a lot about how I film my in-car vlogs. That involves my friend right here. This is a fat gecko suction cup mount. There's two suction cups on here. You can get them with one or two or three. Um, I've had this for about four years. I've never had it fall off a car before, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty beaten up and it still, still works wonders. Just screws into your camera. So what I'll do is I'll mount this on my windshield like that. I'll put my 70D right here, pointing towards me with the flip out screen, which is a feature that the T2i didn't have. So again, the flip out screen is another thing that I love about the 70D because it lets my vlog, it makes my vlog so much easier. I'll hang this on my windshield and I'll set up my GoPro in my pocket with this. This is a cheap eBay lavalier microphone. I don't know if you can read that. Focus there, please. Yeah. I don't know if you can read that, but this is just a wired lavalier microphone. It plugs into my GoPro. So what I'll do is I'll run this up under my shirt, clip it on my collar. You'll probably see it in some of the videos. And then I'll throw my GoPro in my pocket, hit record on that, and when I'm editing afterwards, I'll sync the two up. And that way I have really clean audio for the microphone here, but I can mount my camera further away, and that way it's not right in my face and it doesn't block my direct vision. Besides that, um, I do have a polarizer. It's nothing, nothing fancy. It's just the polarizer. It makes makes blue bluer. You, you you can see some nature shots now. 
but I, I haven't I actually just recently got that, so I haven't had the chance to use that on car videos. The other thing that I've been using a lot is this slider. This thing's huge. I think it's 42 inches, I don't know. I actually have a second tripod that I'll mount, so I'll put one tripod on this end and one tripod on the back end, and then kind of go back and forth. Now when you get the slider, it doesn't come with this piece on it. This is actually an additional kind of tripod head that I can loosen and move around so that way I get the camera at the right angle even if the slider is on some off angle or something like that. So these are really useful. Um, the problem is it does have a mounting point in the middle but if I mount it on my tripod it tends to tip as the camera goes side to side. So two tripods is where it's at. The final piece of gear that I use very rarely in my videos. You guys saw this in the VMR feature video. This is my magic box. And if you go into the magic box and open it up, it comes this. Yeah, there we go. What this is, that's a charger in there, and then it has this. Now this is a essentially a time-lapse machine. So what it does is, not, not a time machine, a time-lapse machine. You turn it on, you set the amount of degree that you want it rotate, to rotate through in a certain amount of time. It'll actually rotate through that cycle in that period of time. Makes for some really cool time lapses. Unfortunately, I bought the cheaper one and it's a little bit notchy so I can't go super slow on the time lapses, but you know what? It is what it is and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and for the price that I got it for, not bad. You can find them on eBay. There's all sorts of brands for like a hundred bucks. Besides that, I mean, I, I have this little sticky tripod or whatever bendy tripod in my bag just in case. Um, I have two extra batteries for my GoPro, two extra batteries for my 70D because both of those like to eat batteries really fast. I have the backing to my GoPro case, a couple other things in the bag, and of course I carry all my chargers with me all the time just in case, you never know. But that is pretty much a rundown of my full gear. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my gear or have any suggestions for future gear that I should pick up, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you guys next Thursday. Take it easy.